Okay, I've split this question up into two parts. Part A here, which is the uh, cumulative frequency parts, and part B, which is the histogram part. So, the table shows the number of times in hours and minutes taken by 100 runners, and six were between 1 and 1 minute 10. Oh, okay, no one was less than 1 hour, that's what this means, and six were less than 1 hour 10 minutes. How many were less than 1 hour 20 minutes? Well, I've got these 24 were between 110 and 120, but these six were less than that, so therefore I need to add those together. That gives me 30, and that's what the cumulative frequency does. It accumulates. So next one, I've got 30 less than 120, and I've got another 44 less than 130, so that would be 74 were less than that, and it'd be 94 less than 140, 99 less than 150, and 100 were less than two hours. I've now got a bit on here. Cumulative frequency, as soon as I see that, I think of the words less than. Because no one was less than one hour, so I can just put across one hour, naught. I have to make sure I get these figures accurately drawn because they have the markers have a grid or an overlay they put on this, and if it's not exact, you don't get right. So don't think you're going to be lucky. You make sure it's exactly right. Always check the scale. Five little squares represents two, so there uh, represents ten. So each little one is two. So one out of ten, that's got to be six, and one out of twenty, it's got to be thirty. That's easy. It's dead on the line. One out of thirty. 74 so I go up to 70 and then go up two more little squares 140 is 94 so 90 up two little squares the last one 150 is 99 so just half a square from the top and finally two hours is 100 it says draw a cumulative frequency diagram I haven't drawn it I've just plotted some points I've got to actually draw the smooth curve as always with a graph Apart from a scatter graph, when you still probably have to draw a, uh, a line of best fits, but here it needs to go smoothly through all the points. Use the cumulative frequency diagram to find an estimate of the number of runners who took longer. Uh, pain longer. This is our less than. So instead of looking less than, I need to look more. One hour thirty-five. So one hour thirty-five is there. Always put it on your graph so you've got evidence of what you've been doing. And it comes down to there. So that says that 84 were less than, because that's what cumulative fre frequency is, less than that. There's 100 runners altogether. So from my diagram, uh, more than that would be 100 minus 84, which equals 16. You could well be a little bit different, because I think actually my graph just goes a bit underneath at this point here, and a little bit underneath here, so it might have been a bit higher. You could well have got... 100 minus 86 to get 14 but uh, so long as your diagram is, is as clear as it can they always give you a little bit of a tolerance anyhow that's 15a done and now i'm going to get on to the histograms from 15b